Capitalism, the greatest gift ever given to mankind. The energy that makes our blood flow and the power that makes the earth rotate on its axis. It is so common that we often forget its existence. But take a step back and think about the world we live in today. Is all of this a consequence of what we have achieved? Or are we living in a narrative where the great power of capital has become the reason for history itself? In the beginning, there was chaos. Nothing ruled, and everything was darkness. A group of guerrillas is having an ordinary day in the East African savanna. They look confused and lost. The rain season is about to come. For most of them, it's going to be another day wandering through the endless void of their life. Yet today, something different is happening. Looks like they made a deal with each other. By paying the price of his dinner and showing off his strength a little, this gentleman managed to climb on top of the throne. Not the ordinary ones, but something none of them had ever seen before in their prehistoric life. And this was the historic moment, the birth of the first ever capitalist. The hierarchy was born, and the rest was history. We built the walls and armies, and ruled the rest by promising them stability and security. People used to think of it as a divine right, but today we call it social Darwinism. The world changed, maybe forever on this ordinary Sunday afternoon. Human Development Headquarter, where every year, every great moment of mankind is labeled in candle charts. There were bad years, like in the mid 14th century, when the Black Death caused one of the biggest market crashes in history. And there were also great centuries, like the 20th, when the Industrial Revolution freed us from the dependence on slavery. Nothing keeps going up forever, so all you need to do is just buy it low and sell it high. You know gambling is not always legal everywhere in the world, but this, something far more excited than gambling, is not only legal, but in fact, the very thing that made the law. Welcome to the party. Take a look around and think again. Is everything we live a coincidence of opportunism? Or is it rather a result made by natural selection of our most intelligent specimens? Airbnb was founded in the exact same year as the housing bubble burst. The price of the Blackwater company pumped up 600 times higher after the plane crashed into the World Trade Center. We are not talking about conspiracy theories or dystopian prophecies. We are talking about things you live and breathe, everywhere, every moment. Invest and progress. The great infrastructure was built, and then, with the power of greatness, we received the things that made us who we are today, and more importantly, the reason for us to live on. Love is capitalism. War is capitalism. Art is capitalism. Religion, ideology, moral standards, ethic, everything that has shaped our world today all originated from this mysterious power of greatness. This is who we are. 
where we are at and what we are going to be. A common mistake people make is that once they put themselves in some sort of subculture, they think they're different from the rest of the system. Fact is, there really is no other side, and we simply don't have any rivals, we just make different variations of the same thing for people to have a choice. But the real question is, is all of this an accident, like some sort of butterfly effect that brought us here today, or are we following the one and only path of greatness, living as we are meant to be? The question of where capitalism comes from remains unanswerable. Scientists and academics around the world try to dig up evidence to prove their theory, but none of them made any progress, really. But one thing we're sure of is that God didn't rest on the seventh day. He created capitalism. It might take generations to figure out the secret of this mysterious power, but one thing we can all certainly agree on is that there is no world better than ours. I love how it is. I love it. Long live the capital. Hypercapitalism Gospel, every Sunday night at PSAC.